Hello to you, my spicy chicken nuggets. We are back with another siege battle from Emperor Candy Katsu. Uh, and it, it, man, it's uh yeah, some powerhouse factions in this. It appears that the defenders have gone all uh, empire divided. Uh, and the attackers have gone all Rome with one Gallic Rome. And anybody who's any who's played knows that uh, you know if anything goes, usually Gallic Rome is 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 banned because they're kind of OP. <laughs> Uh, also, you can see that this is a barb settlement. I think this is uh, Pillar for Doom, I believe. I mean, it, you know, this settlement, yeah, it has many names. Uh, it's a barb settlement, and you can only bring siege towers on barb settlements. Uh, however, I I don't know how they did this. I don't. Will this does will this work? Will this even work? I it's, I've been informed that some uh, hilarity ensues with uh, some siege towers in in this replay. So I gotta try and keep an eye on what exactly happens here. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's just let, let let's get into this. So on the defender side, we have Var Varen. Gian, Baron Gian Squirrel as Gothi Eye, uh, Clan Tag DTF, the Dodgy Gob as the Sassanids, and then JP as Defending Gallic Rome. Attacking, we have Dank Kush 420 as Rome. Uh, so, which one that is, I don't know. Emperor Kandikatsu is gone as Gallic Rome, and then Razorback is the other Roman faction. Um, I don't know what the funds were in this. Uh, maybe they were high. If that's the case, we might be seeing a sally out by the Sassanids because I know that they do get elephants and, uh, in the Empire Divided online multiplayer, there's no restriction to how many elephants you can actually bring into the game. So... I don't think we're going to just see a, an all-elven build, although that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll probably see at least one or, or two, and maybe some cab as well. So, uh, let's get into the attacker's army army comps, army builds, and <clears throat> then we'll, we'll start. Uh, so we'll start with Gallic Rome. He is brought with him, it looks like, just a whole host of Longsword Cohort. And these guys are pretty nasty. Yeah, it, it looks like he's gone all Longsword Cohort, which I don't really blame him. He's got two units of pikemen. Gallic Imperial Bodyguard. Gal wow, I almost butchered that. Gallic Imperial Bodyguard. These guys are fucking badass looking, honestly. Uh, and then... I think they get... Yeah, Balearic Slingers. Uh, he's gone with. And then he also has brought one unit of Roman Giant Ballista. Uh, and then... Getting into the Roman factions. We don't know who's who. So we have... Uh, Balearic Slingers, Syrian Archers. <clears throat> Looks like... Two Praetorians. Three Eagle Cohort. Possibly more. Yep, there's uh, another Eagle Cohort. First cohort, the armored legionaries, armored legionaries, triarii up on the towers, which you guys know how I feel about Roman spears attacking. <clears throat> uh, some more legionaries, Stati, armored legionaries. We got another unit of Roman giant ballista. Interesting to see that he has them uh, set up in. Um, loose formation. You don't really see people utilize that too much, I feel like. Uh, and then the other Roman uh, attacker 
there's some units over here. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, let's see. What is he got? He's probably the same thing. Black Slayer. Syrians. 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 Uh, Torians. 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 Armor Legionaries. Yep. Uh, Eagle Cohort. Eagle. Armored. General Bodyguard. Where's this Roman general, actually? Ah, oh, he's over here. Uh, and then we got... Two auxiliary cav, general bodyguard, another unit of Gallic warriors. Okay, something a little bit different. Let's see what these guys look like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. <clears throat> and then there's one unit way back over here uh, with a ram. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and assume that this dude's just gonna get absolutely obliterated. One unit first cohort. All right, so uh, oh Jesus, 33 minutes and 17 seconds. Uh, let's get this underway. Interestingly enough, looks like the defenders only brought one wall artillery. However, that doesn't mean that there isn't artillery within the walls themselves. Uh, yeah, really curious how they managed to glitch uh, siege tortoises on in here. I mean, I guess it's kind of against the rules, sort of, but... When you're up against the Sassanids, Gallic Rome, and Gothii... All of which are, are pretty OP factions. Uh, I guess anything goes at that point, right? Oh, so we can start to see the Blaric Slingers. Oh, here we go. So we got some armored Indian war elephants. What did I say? I knew it. Yeah, these guys are done. Uh, why would you even like put these guys back here? They're just going to get absolutely annihilated. You better... Don't know. Set them up so they can... Why are you going to loose formation too? What are you doing? Oh boy. Here we go. And yeah, they're just gonna start to take some heavy losses. These elephants are gonna rack up the kills. This unit's done for. Up here we can start to see some of the eyes troops. Looks like we got some armored Germanic swords. Uh I don't know what those were. They Disappeared into the mist. Gorillas in the mist. These guys look pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we got here. More gothic axe warriors. Look at those shields. Uh, here we go. Uh, Traver... Traver... Travergi Osworn? Pretty cool looking. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, swing back around. So, let me, as they're still advancing to the walls, let me bring up the description of this. So, apparently, one of the towers is too tall, and the soldiers were just jumping off. I think it's one of, he said it's one of the allies. And actually... It looks like it's these two, right? Don't these look way taller than they are? What the hell? How did it's like these are the towers for a walled settlement. Maybe that's how he glitched in the tortoises too. So maybe he glitched in or just something happened. So I, I won't say that he glitched in, but something happened where siege equipment from a, a uh, Hellenic or Roman city carried over? Possibly? I mean, how, how will this even work? It's not... No way. No way. Are they actually tall enough? But yeah, these towers are way too tall. Look at the, the height difference. But, does that also mean... Yep, there's the... Wow, so these guys are going to be taking some heavy losses. Yep, we've already lost five guys. Indian elephants have done their due diligence. No. There's another unit? Oh, Jesus. Heading out there. These guys are up to 94 kills. They've lost four, though. And the Gothii General is actually out here with him. Yeah, these guys got wrecked. Only nine kills. What a shame. All right, back over here real quick. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that. That's so cheesed. 
It's not even act it's like hitting like barely. Barely. Oh my god. How does that even work? Candy, you're gonna have to tell me how he did this. Not that I, I would do it, because it's definitely cheap, but holy shit. Again, maybe this is just like an accident. Maybe the, the game glitched itself. Oh no! No, get him out of there! Run! Run! What were you thinking? And then you're moving up more of your Balearic Slingers? What are you doing? Pull them back! Balak Rome charging with his Cav? Why did you bring Cav? Really? Why do you have Cav in here? That's... They're gonna get chewed up. And then you're... He's just... This has got to be a new guy. He's just charging forward with everything. This guy's gonna get wrecked. His slingers are gone. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous. This is just an absolute meme of a battle. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my god. Absolutely, this is what you should be going for. Here we go. Look at that! Oh man, these guys are gonna start swan diving down into the settlement to, to attack. <clears throat> Come on, I just need to see some- There! <laughs> There he goes! That is ridiculous. It's like they're doing a superhero landing. Okay. Jesus Christ. And now... Oh, jeez. Wow. I can only imagine how many kills the giant ballista is getting right now. What is this guy doing? He has to be new. And his teammates have got to be just... frothing at the mouth right now. Back over here... Yeah, his Balearic Slingers are just getting absolutely wrecked. What a waste. It looks like he might be pushing through a little bit as well. Or his pikes, I mean, his pikes are in... But they're not... In, oh, man. This is actually, like... This is giving me a brain out of some right here. See how many kills this uh, list is up to. 134, 36, and they probably have so much ammo left. I mean, there's literally there's no salvaging this. Gallic Rome. Gallic defending Rome has literally thrown away his entire army and left his allies high and dry. There's no hope. I mean, this is going to be a grind and losses will be taken. Uh, Jesus Christ. What is it up to now? 180 kills. And he, he brought two units of cat. Like, if you're going to sally out, that's all well and good. But why keep him in there? Some gothic archers. 150 range, 35 damage. Not And my game crashed. Fuck. Okay. We are more or less back uh, to the point, I believe, where my silly, silly game crashed. Uh, Alright, so let's continue. Uh, I, I don't even remember where I was at, but, uh, what we were exactly talking about. But yeah, uh, defending Gallic Rome is just... He's being a bit of a chad, let's just say, okay? Ooh, it's not good, he just hit some of his own units. It looked like he might be using explosive shot, though. Is that what it, indeed what he's using? No, no, he's using fire shot. Never mind. 
All right, so he's actually got a unit of his pikemen doing what they're supposed to do. But, uh, I mean, it's it's not going to matter. It looks like maybe this Roman player over here, where, over here is using an explosive shot. Um, yeah, this isn't going to matter. He's retreating! Leave your... Oh, no, he's not. Okay. No, he did! He moved his pikes. Why'd you move them? They would have been... Now he's falling back. 90 pikemen left. Only 16 kills. These guys have 100, so that's kind of good. Balearic Slingers are getting absolutely slaughtered, but now look at this. Longsword cohort starting to wrap around. Yeah, they're going to stop, though. Otherwise, they're going to get shot in the back by these guys. We built the eye archers in. Oh my god. Oh no. More elephants. Oh boy. This actually, if if he gets baited, if the assassinate player gets baited into coming into here, and they have their Syrians in here, he needs to get they need to get their Syrian archers in here, get these elephants stuck in over here, and light them up with fire arrows, at fire arrows, and just let them go to town on uh, their own troops. Or throw peel out. That'll, that'll do it, too. But yeah, these guys are absolutely winning that. Ooh, they're getting targeted. Yeah, someone's using an explosive shot. I think it's this Roman player over here. Yeah, definitely. He's got that angle. How many kills did the... 306. Oh, my God. Jesus. Absolutely devastating. Golic Rome's getting his pikemen over here. They should be able to deal with these elephants a little bit better. Both the eyes now moving forward. Uh, I just, they have like just, I mean, so much left. Oh, oh okay. I thought they came over here. Didn't they have a uh, batter in there? I guess I was wrong. <laughs> so this Roman player is using uh, explosive shot. Big tip. Don't use explosive shot. I know it says anti-infantry, but it's really, it's not that great. Uh, and defending Gallic Rome is just, they're starting to slowly but surely mass route the units here and there. And that's going to have a detrimental effect on other units. The morale in these two units, these three units, is pretty low already. This is not good. The elephants have gotten nuts. Uh, if they're lucky, they'll go back this way. Doesn't look like it, though. It's okay, though. Oh! Oh! Go, little elephant. Yeah, you better move your fucking troops. Or you're gonna have a bad day. Defending Gallic Rome is completely surrounded now. Rare Slingers, Syrian Archers now in here just firing into this mass of troops. More ele- I'm calling it right now. They brought all elephants. 100% they brought all elephants. Ooh. It's getting great shots on these units back here, but again, it, it's not fire around, so it's not going to do anything. Smart to bring your elephants around here. First cohort's gonna get smashed to bits. Yep, get your pikes over here, quick. To deal with these elephants. Drop them. There you go. Push them forward. Push, push, push. Now you're getting shot at, but you... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, if they drop their pikes, then they should have a good chance. These guys are just getting melted. All this arrow fire. Man, these guys are pretty. 150 range. That's normal though, right? Right? Where's the uh, Syrians? Yeah, Syrians have 150 as well. I'll tell you what though, Gallicrum, the defender, 
defending Golikrom is, is doing a good job of stalling the rest of these troops. But, I mean, they should they really need to get these Syrians up and over here. And then you'll have a good angle on these troops. These pikes need to turn around so they can get into the back of these elephants. Syrian archers firing into the flanks of these uh, elephants. Men go nuts, but they're not really... I mean, you gotta hope that they go over here, right? You better move your, your Syrians out of the way. Attacking Golikrom's bringing up some of these pikes. Probably gonna set up right here. And ward off these Gothic axe warriors. These elephants are just racking up the kills. Look at that. The number is just climbing at a ludicrous speed. These pikes are winning, though, against elephants. There, yeah, they're dropping in. <laughs> More elephants? Oh my god. They need to get these Syrians up here because it seems like maybe all the elephants are, are, are coming from here. Get your Syrians up here, fire down into these elephants, make them go berserk, and they'll start trampling these, his Gothi uh, ally. So here we go. Got his pikes here. They're going to do a, a good job of defending, but the only problem is, is you can sneak along. Yep, there you go. Gonna go right past them. Pull back your Syrians. You gotta move up. Yeah, move up your legionaries or your Praetorians, whatever you got. And, uh. Jeez. Defending Golikrom just didn't get any kills. <laughs> Again, though, you gotta get these Syrians up here. That's gonna be your best bet. So now we're starting to have a mass route from uh, Golok Imperial, or uh, Golok Imperial, Golok Imperial, Golok Imperial, Golok Imperial. Uh, so yeah, they're going to be gone, and that'll free up a lot of units to be able to press the Sassanids and Gothii. Yeah, this is just an absolute meme of a battle. Elephants coming in with Trent. Yep, there we go. They're preserved for now. So hot. 17 minutes, 20 seconds left. Guys, if you're enjoying this, you know what to do. The YouTube thing. Like, subscribe. Subscribe? Subscribe. Yeah, why not? Subscribe. So, uh, leave a comment. Share with your friends. Uh, every little bit helps. Pikes are, unfortunately, they're losing. Uh, yeah, it looks like, yeah, they're getting attacked from the rear by... Is it these guys? Romantic swords? Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so they're getting attacked from behind from these axe warriors, so... And they're getting just... Oh, my God! See the amount of arrow fire that just came in. Fucking devastating. But again, just look at the amount of reserves that they still have. Elephants are up to 115 and, and climbing. I think our axe warriors are getting sent off the field of battle, and then these pikes are going to start tearing into these armored dramatic swords. Even though there's only uh, 30 of them, they should still do a pretty good job. They are pikes. These guys are four point losing. I mean, they, they're trying to hold back a tidal wave, essentially. At this point, the, the attackers should just... Yeah, there you go. Surge forward. Surge forward as much as you possibly can. The defenders need to fall back. Not that it's going to matter. Well, it looks like the defenders actually defeated these pikes over here. It's a bit of a loss. Uh, they only got 39 kills. That's unfortunate. These elephants, though, are still mucking about. How many kills have they got? Oh, we need elephants. 
178 kills. Oh no, don't don't throw your gen in. What are you doing? Don't do that. Why are you doing that? Rome's Rome you should Alright, if you're using vanilla Grand Campaign Rome, throwing in your general should always be a last resort. When you have, like, literally nothing left, that should be a last resort. Ooh, look at this. Oh, no. Why are your units outside? Gothiai's gonna get a great charge off of these Syrian archers. Oh, numbers gonna start to fall pretty quickly. Yep, they're too busy microing over here. There you go. Oh, come on, move these units too. You gotta move your Praetorians over as well. It's not gonna be enough though. Uh, you have your Cav. There was Cav, wasn't there? I know that there was Cav. Where did they? Oh, they're, they're in here. Why are they in here? They should have been out here protecting these archers. There goes, I mean, that's small victories for the attackers, I guess, right? And then, yeah, your Roman general, yeah, fucking get him out of there. What are you thinking? The Triarii should have been off the towers and uh, defending those archers. If you're going to leave them out there, that's fine, but at least defend with something appropriate. Yeah, you're going to charge your cab back out. It's too late, bud. He's going to either A, get away... Or he's gonna die. One or the other. Now, maybe the assassins are done. We don't have any more. No more elephants over here, unless they're hiding up up top on the hill. Uh, but the attackers really have to spread out and, and thin out Gothiai's line as much as possible. Looks like, yeah, he's gonna try and get over here to try and neutralize this gate so he can get back in. Don't send your general! What are you doing? Uh, my heart hurts. So tell you what, if they still have elephants, then you're just gonna get jebated into following Gothiai's general all the way around over here. And then elephants are gonna charge out and they're gonna take your jet. You don't want them. Cleric Slinger still have plenty of ammo, as I'm sure do uh, some of the Syrians and their auxiliary. Uh, Balearic Slingers as well. <laughs> Melissa Crew's gonna come in and try and get some more kills. I think you've done enough work there, pal. 306 kills is pretty impressive. So, I can't believe that, uh... What happened to... Oh, yeah, he's dead. I'm surprised that he didn't move his Ballista either so he could attack anything. Uh, so now it looks like Double just moving time. up some armored legionaries. I gotta say, I, I feel like Tetsudo is pointless in this game compared to the original Rome Total War. You remember the original Rome Total War with the Tetsudo looked like that looked like in that? It was like an actual square. They held their shields down on the sides. I don't know, maybe Creative Assembly thought that that was too OP. And they were like, nah, we have to nerf Rome a little bit somehow, some way, even though Rome is still kind of overpowered. Unless you're not good with them. And there you go. Great, like, oof. there goes your general. Is he dead? Yep, yeah, he's dead too. Man, these guys just... Let's see, the kills. 147, 68, 74. Where's the other one? Did you one more? Maybe he got killed. 
They really need to be supporting this advance now. Unless they're just trying to get them to waste jabs. Which, if that's the case, then I can understand. Nine minutes and 50 seconds left. Just start pushing. Especially with your longsword cohort. Ooh. Valeric Summer is firing into these armored dramatic swords. Probably gonna get a pretty good. Getting some kills. What's their uh, weapon damage? Or miss bleh, missile damage is 29. How about where's the Valeric Summer? I wanna I wanna compare Vanilla with Empire Fighter. Of course I can't fucking find them. Alright, so they're the same. 29 and 150. Fire on the enemy! Oh, here we go. More elephants. Jeez, and they're already gone berserk because of the Balearic Slingers. For sure. Oh, yes, yes, yep. <laughs> There's another unit of elephants. Get in there. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. Gopi Eyes men are going to start taking. Oh my god, look at that number drop. Jesus Christ. Start targeting this one. Start targeting this one. I mean, they're, they're keeping that. Uh, that unit berserk, but you gotta go after this one now, too. You gotta get these guys to turn around. I mean, the ones that have gone berserk, it says only 87 kills, but you know it's more than that because they... No! Oh, no! Not the slingers. I mean, well played by the assassin player, but oh... Get your other slingers out of there. Pull them out. Pull them out. Get them back. Move, 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 move. Just pull everyone back. Pull, pull, pull. Get them out. Yes, go that way. Go that way. Go. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're going the wrong way. Shit. I mean, you're going into the tree RI, but still. That's me. Bonus for large 20. But the elephants don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh god. This is like a cavalry wet dream, especially for elephants. But they're just gonna get focused down and yeah, they're gonna lose quick. 279 kills though. Not bad. But yeah, these elephants are gonna get melted pretty quickly. Is that. I, I called it. I said it. I said I bet you he would bring all elephants if the funds were high enough. And sure enough, that is exactly what he did. Jeez. <laughs> what do you do at this point? Imagine too, like being a, a guy fighting these elephants, and one of them dies, and it just falls on you, and then you're stuck, and you can't get out. Start focusing down these guys, yep. And another unit. Starting to see some massive breaking over here. Hopefully, though, they can get these elephants to turn around and charge back into his Gothii ally by accident. Gothii's coming out, too. Pulling out all the stops of his general. They need to shift more troops over this way to protect these archers. Yup, yeah, pull your general away. Pull your general out. Otherwise, you're going to lose it, and all your units are going to take a massive hit on morale. Let's see, these guys have to 
587 kills. Holy shit, and climbing. It's unfortunate that they're not turning around and going into this mod podge of the oh god, this evil cohort's getting royally fucked. No, don't move. Pull, pull back. Pull back. <clears throat> pull your armored legionaries back. Let them charge that way. Don't give them something to go after. Oh, uh, you fool. You dumb, dumb fool. Back over here. Auxiliary cat is doing what they can against these elephants. <laughs> Ain't much, though. Could you imagine if the, the balance of power just shifted? Actually. Oh, no. Oh no. There is a serious chance that the defenders could win this. 100%. Do they have any more units outside? They have a unit of armored legionaries, armored legionaries, Valeric Slingers, and a gen. Uh. Yeah, there's, there's a serious chance. Possibly. And we still have, what, one... Three units, it looks like, a Praetorian Guard, Gallic Imperial Guard, and then some Armored Legionaries. You really... You have to get rid of the Elephants, so that's the biggest thing here. They need to be focusing down the Elephants. Where's the rest of the archers? Yeah, these guys, they need to be firing on these fucking elephants. That's your best bet. Looks like both the eyes archers are out of ammo. 93, 134, 112, 150. Pretty good numbers. Hey, the assassin in general, though, is just having a field day over here. 297 so far. And they just... Man, he's not being stopped. They don't have any spear units left. Long so long long so cohort. <laughs> it's having a bad time against them too. They got what four elephants left? Yeah, four elephants. Three elephants. This is I don't know, man. I mean, it has the attackers as winning, but, uh... Yeah, look, both the eyes are going to start to swing around. Yes, The assassinated player has disrupted the attacker's line so much that it's given Gothii a time, time to breathe. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. And he still has... These units, they still have ammo, so they weren't out. I wonder if this unit is out, though, because they only have 96 kills. What are you doing with your... Why are you pulling your... Cab away? Go after the Arch, especially go after the General when he gets over there, for sure. This tower, though, is still going to be shooting at them while they're still in the, uh, the ring. This Roman player needs to get his cab in here. To support this long sword, long Jesus Christ, long sword cohort. Sally sells, she sells by the seashore. Fuck. There you go. Get him in there. Cleric singers are in combat. 80, 90 kills now. If they can break all of this right here, especially if they can kill the general, and they can break this right here, then they can loop around. Smash into the back of this clump right here, and then it'll be over. I mean, I think it's over anyway. I think the attacker is uh, definitely succeeded. Smartly firing into the general. Yep, the general's dead. So now all of those units are going to start to take a penalty. Since I, I would assume, right? Because it is like a, a barbarian unit or a faction. This one, this is a pretty good one. Uh, if, 
If only for the siege tortoises and the men leaping off of the fucking siege towers. This was a good one. Bossy victory. Well played. All right, let's get into this. Uh, so, Denkush 420 with only 656 kills. I, what, how? I don't know. Uh, he had to have been a newer player. Let's see. His general getting six kills. His uh, Cav 7 and 20. Valeric Slingers 14. His Syrians 47, 20, and 17. Eagle Cohort. Just, Jesus, they got eviscerated. They probably were in that initial first push uh, against Gallic Rome, the, the defending Gallic Rome, and just got caught up in that blob, and that's why they got cut down. I'm assuming. That's my, my hot take. So these guys only got two kills, 82, 6, 21. First cohort, 35 and 9. Legionaries, 179, 0, 30. And then these, oh, God, these Praetorians got fucking eviscerated as well. Praetorian Guard and Praetorians, 0 and 6. What a waste. And then 80 and 75. Emperor Kandi Katsu, the one who sent this in, uh, doing 2,163. Kills his general getting 39. His uh, giant ballista getting 306. Lyric Slingers 64, 50, and 91, and 16. Gallic Warriors getting 78. And then his le uh, legionary cohort, longsword cohort, 31, 58, 36, 183, 82, 328. Nice. Uh, 153, 193, 201, 176, 0. So forth. They probably got smashed by elephants. And then his pikes only 39 and 39. And then Razorback here getting 1,191 kills. Two for his gen, 206 for his ballista, zero for his Balearic Slingers, 6, 8, and 20 for his Syrians. Jeez. Uh, and then Armored Legionaries 48, 38, 4, 139, 28, 0, 356. Nice. Eagle Cohort 106, 115, this is Hastati 23. And then his Praetorians didn't get into the mix, really. 0, 29, and 61. Uh, Varen, Varen, Varengian Squirrel, I think. 1,876 kills. 137 for his general. Well played. 97, 135, 117, and 152 for his Gothic Archers. Uh, Armored Dramatic Swords, 94, 49, 73, 114, and... Uh, Gothic, Gothic, Gothic Axe Warriors, 69, nice, 83, 50, 57, uh, Gothic Pikemen got 38, and then the per, Pervingi Osworn got 20, 133, 95, 100, 103, and 60, 160. Uh, <laughs> the Dodgy, I forget his name, because it's cut off, he only brought 192 men with him. And he lost all of them, so what do you think he brought? Fucking <laughs> all elephants. You fucking bastard. Uh, but he got the most kills out of everybody, which is fucking hilarious. 418 for his general. 745? Are you fucking kidding me? 745 kills? Jesus Christ. 185, 283, 314, 104, 190, and 322. Holy shit, man. I don't think I've ever seen that many fucking kills on an elephant. Or any unit for that matter. Shit. And then JP just absolutely YOLOing away his troops with 609 kills. 45 for his general. 3 and 0 for his two calves. Uh, 14, 4, 13, and 10 for his Balearic Slingers. 28 for his Gallic Imperial Guard. 11, 10, 12, and 9 for his Gallic Warriors. 47, 52, 59, 54, 62, and 54 for his Longsword Cohort. And then 16 and 106 for his Pikes. What an absolute meme of a battle. Holy shit. Uh, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. Um, <clears throat> I just, I don't have any words. Uh, yeah, it was great. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all that, uh, corny YouTube stuff. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.
is what they're saying.